Hey, what's up everyone? Brian from GumballTech.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone or iPod Touch, and I will also show you how to unlock your iPhone if you want to use it on another carrier, such as T-Mobile. But a quick note about unlocking. If, if you want to unlock for like experimental purposes, and you aren't actually going to use it on another carrier, do not do it, because you'll probably run into various cell network problems, which may require you to restore your device so just play it safe and don't unlock unless you plan on using an unofficial gsm car carrier like t-mobile so on to the jailbreak you first need to make sure you're on the latest software version which is 3.1.2 all you need to do to check that is open up itunes with your iphone or ipod touch plugged in and you need to look at the software version if it says anything other than 3.1.2, you should be able to do an update. You could just click on the check for update box, and if it finds an update, which it should, you it will automatically download the firmware for 3.1.2 and install it for you. This doesn't remove anything on your device. Everything will be the same just like before. You could also restore your device to 3.1.2, which starts everything over to factory settings everything already on your device is going to be removed. So, once you've made, made sure that you're on 3.1.2 by either updating or restoring, you could go on to the next step. But first, if you are going to be doing the restore method, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that since I'm going to do it to my own iPhone right now. So what you need to do is click on restore and iTunes will automatically download your firmware, the latest one, and restore your device. But since I have the actual firmware file downloaded on my desktop, I'm going to option click, that is alt click for Windows users, and you should get an open file dialog box. And then go ahead and find your IPSW and go to choose. It will then begin the restore process, which could take anywhere from 5 minutes to 20 minutes. So go ahead and have a hot dog or something. Again, you only need to do the Alt or Option click Restore if you have your IPSW file downloaded somewhere else on your hard drive already. If you don't, you could just let iTunes go ahead and download it and then do everything else for you. This, I guess, would be for power users, so to speak. So we're going to go ahead and let that go and we will get back to you when it is finished. And actually, on my iPhone, let me switch to Maker real quick. You can see that we have the Apple logo and a progress bar on the bottom. It will slowly move its way from the left to the right. So go ahead and watch an episode of Family Guy or something while you're waiting. All right, so my restore is done. It took about 15 minutes. And you can tell that your restore is done because you'll notice that your home screen is really ugly and boring looking. Uh, when, I, when I was finished restoring, it asked if I want to restore from the backup which I did. So all of my mailboxes, contacts, things like that are still there. So with all that out of the way, we will move on to the jailbreak. Now the software we're going to be using is called Black Rain. Uh, Rain spelled with a one instead of an I. And you just go to blackrain.com, click on either the Windows logo or the Apple logo so you can download the proper version for your system and then once you do that you will double click on your black rain application that you just downloaded wait for it to come up oh it already did it's in the background and here is what it looks like let me try and zoom in a little bit oops all right you need to make sure that itunes is closed I don't really know if it's a requirement, but just in case, it's, you know, a good safety precaution. So this is what Black Rain looks like. It is just a little 
window with a make it rain button in the middle. So what you're going to have to do is click on it. You can see it was waiting for the device. Now it's putting my iPhone in recovery mode because it just turned itself off. Apple logo. And then on the window it should be saying um all right right here enjoy your jailbroken iphone the process is almost complete and then you'll notice on your iphone you have a picture of geohot the person who made the jailbreak so it should take a couple more minutes to complete and when that is finished you'll be back at your home screen and we'll get back to you when that finishes on my iphone all right so you should notice that the picture of geohot is gone and you should be back at the Apple logo. And it should take anywhere from 30 seconds to maybe a minute and a half to get back to your home screen. So we're just going to wait. And wait a little bit more. Alright, here we are at the home screen. Everything should look just like it did before. But you should notice a new application on your home screen should be on the second page called black rain so you need to open black rain it's just a very simple looking application like this also if you're on an ipod touch you need to make sure that you get onto wi-fi so that you can actually use the black rain application since i'm on an iphone i have 3g so i don't need to worry about wi-fi really so this is Black Rain. This is what you're going to use to install either Cydia, the main way of getting jailbroken packages, you know, themes, wallpapers, things like that. Rock is another alternative to Cydia, but um, I just recommend Cydia. Rock is not very good. And then Snow is your unlock. Use that if you're on an iPhone. So we're going to tap on Cydia because we want to install it. And also, if you want to install the unlock, just tap on that as well, and then click on install. But since I don't really want to use my iPhone on an unofficial carrier, I'm just going to ignore it for now. And I'm going to tap on install. It will then download Cydia from the internet, as you can see here. So when it's done downloading, it's going to install, and then you'll have to reboot your device. Alright, so I, I, uh, I forgot to start recording when Black Rain finished, but it will just say it's installing, and then it will respring your iPhone. A respring is basically a quick reboot. And then once it does that, you can unlock your phone, and you'll notice Cydia on your home screen. You can then open Cydia and begin to download your various packages, such as our 93 wallpaper pack from gumballtech.com slash Cydia, or thousands of other things. So that's about it. Your device is now jailbroken and I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions just leave a comment in the comments area. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you later.